Hello guys, coming to you from my room, which is a mess, as you can probably see. And I probably should have cleaned it before I started this video, but this is real life sometimes, okay? I'm doing this video, mostly two of me attempting to record this video because people kept calling. So I had to put my phone on airplane mode. But basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you what I do with my hair at night, like kind of my nighttime routine. Um, while I've been quarantined, ever since uh, I took out my extensions and my hair weave, I have just been focusing on my hair and my personal hair growth journey. And I've started back making this hair oil that I started making a little over a year ago. Um, but with modified, actually I modified a lot of things as far as the ingredients goes um, to suit all hair types, especially low porosity hair, which is what I have. So at night, I don't apply this oil every single night because it's a very heavy oil, but I just kind of show you guys like what my my routine is at night um, when I want to wear my hair in an afro the next day. And um, it's basically just a two, a two strand twist situation. But the first thing that I do, and I've already done this because I didn't want to bore you with it, is I massage my scalp. And I like to set a timer for 10 minutes and massage my scalp for 10 minutes. Now you can apply oil when you massage your scalp. Um, to get that all in there or you can um you can you can just do like like this last time i have so much product build up in my hair right now that i just went ahead and um massaged my scalp with nothing in it and normally when i do my two strand twist i will um apply like a butter like some type of creamy thing like the lco method which is liquid cream oil um, but this time I'm just going to do liquid and oil because I don't want, I want to keep my, I'm not washing my hair until Saturday and I'm filming this on Monday. <laughs> so I don't want to have too much, um, like product build up in my hair. So maybe a couple of days later I'll put in a cream, but right now I'm not going to put in a cream. So what I do is I massage my scalp. You can do it with your fingers, like the pads of your fingers, definitely like not your fingernails, especially if you have long nails, just use the pads of your fingers to massage. Um, there's all types of techniques and stuff. Like I don't have a real technique to mine. I just try to make sure I get each section of my hair nice and massaged and the blood flowing and all that circulation. And I set a timer for 10 minutes to make sure I do it for 10 minutes. Why 10 minutes? Because I feel like that is a good amount of time. That's just me personally. Like anything less, I feel like may or may not be enough. Um, and anything more, like I just don't have the patience. So like I said, you can do it with your fingers, the pads of your fingers. Or you can use a scalp massager. This is the one that I have. I think I just got it from Amazon. It's not automated, but there are the ones, like the one that I have for my mom. Um... It is like it's got batteries in it and you press it and it like vibrates on her scalp. It's it's nice. But I prefer this one because the little spikes are super soft and I like I don't know. I just I just prefer it. I don't I don't really need the whole battery situation. So yeah, I massage like this all over, all over, all over for 10 minutes. And then I'll go in and I'll do my sections. Um and I will do my twist. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do some twists right now for you guys. It's nothing special. I'm sure you've seen them many times, <laughs> but I don't have any special way of doing it. So some people might cringe. Like I literally just finger part, and I take a section like so, and make sure it's like a nice and even section. I'm normally doing this in front of my bathroom mirror, so this is a little. It was a little bit challenging for me, but you can see as I'm separating my hair, like you see all that shine, like my hair normally is super dry. Um, you know, 4C hair is always thirsty, but um, because I applied my oil that I create and look at my hands, like it's still nice and oily, um, hydrated, like from yesterday, which is crazy because normally my hair just, it just isn't, it just isn't. So now that I have my section, I have a little spray bottle. I normally like to use um, a mister. 
So it's like a spray bottle, but instead of it coming out like a force spray, it's like, it comes out as a mist. Why? Because I don't want my hair drenched wet and I like to have more control and I feel like that gives me more control. So it comes out as a mist and I make sure my hair is nice and damp. Then from there, I'll apply my oil. This is my bottle, my personal bottle. <laughs> if you do purchase my hair growth oil, it's not gonna come like this. It's <laughs> don't, don't judge me based off this. It does come in a nice six ounce bottle with a label. It comes with instructions on how to use and a full list of ingredients. My hair growth oil is not like anything else that's on the market. Um, I know that sounds like me branding myself or selling my product, but I, I mean, it's the truth because what I do is I finely grate avocado and carrot. I slow marinate it in extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed. Um, I have my coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil, fenugreek seeds, like um, umla, umla powder and brahmi powder and shikai powder. And there's a full list of ingredients. All my peppermint, my essential oils, peppermint, lavender, ro rosemary, um, there's a full, it comes with a full list of ingredients. And if it's something that you're interested in seeing the full list of ingredients, I have no problem sending that to you. Just comment down below. Um, but you'll see every single ingredient, like chibi powder. Um, it's all, I'm talking when I could be working. It's all natural and it's all stuff that promotes hair growth for all hair types. So I'm just massaging it into my scalp a little bit there. And then I'll put some down the length of the hair as well. And I just actually started selling it less than a week ago. So I apply it to the ends and also down the length of the hair. But I don't use too much because like I said, it's very oily oil and you don't need much. I just started selling it. It would have been, it would be a week last Wednesday. So this upcoming Wednesday will mark, will mark two weeks. And I've already sold close to 40 bottles, which is amazing. Um, it's just, <laughs> it's amazing. And people are already starting to see results. I've gotten so many great, um, so much great like feedback and happy testimonials. If you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Z-E-A-L-A-N-D-Z. That's Z -E -A -L -A -N -D -Z. Um, I have a little highlight section called hair growth. And you can see all the people who have provided their testimonials and things of that nature. But yeah, um, this is basically how I'm twisting my hair. I'm going to twist my hair off camera and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Um, and then tomorrow, I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or the next day, I'll take out the twist so you can see like the final results. But yeah, um, I'll talk more about my hair growth oil when I come back. See you guys. So this is what my hair looks like when I've done all of the little chunky twists. So you can kind of get a good idea. Let's do a full, you know what I'm saying, full view here. And um, when I take it out, I'll, I'll show you guys how it looks when I take it out. Or I, I might do a couple with you guys. But remember, I didn't put any kind of curling cream or moisturizer to help make the curls really nice and popping. All I did was spray water for my spray bottle. I like to add a little bit of essential oils like rosemary and peppermint in here. Spray to get the, the section nice and damp. I put some oil on my scalp. Oh, my oil is gone because I already finished it. But I put some oil on my scalp and um, down the length of my hair and definitely on the ends because the ends are the oldest part of your hair. And yeah. We'll see how it looks. Hey guys, so I'm back now. It has actually been about three days because when I first put the oil in my hair, when I first put the twist in my hair, it was Monday and I'm just now taking them out today and today's Thursday. So two, three days. Um, I waited this long because most of you may know our hair benefits most from like low manipulation. So given that I'm in quarantine, you know, I've got my pajamas on, I'm not really going anywhere. Um, I was like, I'm just going to leave the twist in until I feel like it's necessary to take them out. And today I actually have a Zoom meeting that I might go on video with and I have to go out and um, 
drop off some packages of some things I sold. So I'm going to go ahead and take it the twist out now. Just a reminder, the only thing that I did was use my mister with the water in it, my Denman brush to detangle, and my hair growth oil. It was in a different bottle, but I ran out of that bottle. So this is my hair growth oil. If you do purchase one, this is how it'll come because we are in quarantine and I'm just using whatever resources I have at home. Um, it comes in a six ounce bottle. And the label is just from an old label maker that my mom has. And I put a piece of tape over it to make sure it stays. But this is how you know, this is the legit stuff. This is the stuff that works. Um, it has so many great things in it that make your hair grow. And I know you may have heard of some of them like castor oil and extra virgin olive oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil. But there's also some things in here that you may not have heard of because it is called an Indo-African hair growth oil. I just got the name from where a majority of the herbs and powders and oils come from. Either India, I got shikai powder, henna powder, um, not the kind that dyes your hair, um, neutral henna called cassia, um, amla powder, brahmi powder, and then there's the African oils like argon oil and powders such as um, chibi powder, which all makes your hair grow, uh, promotes great hair growth and each order comes with, I mean, each order is hand packaged by me. So I package it and I I, um, I create the oil by hand um, and ship it out to you. So the oil by itself is 15, but it's $6 for shipping. And the only way to purchase it right now is through Cash App. You just Cash App um, the $21, say what it's for, and then I reach out to you to get your address. Um, but yeah. Each one is handmade by me because I am a solo operation right now. So instead of spending countless dollars on products online that you're not even sure will work, why not support a local business <laughs> and try an oil um, from someone you know and, you know, can somewhat trust, I would hope. Um, but yeah, each order also comes with a personal thank you note from me um instructions on how to use different ways that you can use it i actually need to update it because you can also add aside from using it as a pre-poo putting it in your hair before you shampoo your hair and using it to massage your scalp you can also use it um as a hot oil treatment and put it in your deep conditioner whenever you go to deep condition your hair um so it comes with an instruction sheet along with all the ingredients of what's included in the oil i do make um custom ones for people who are allergic to certain ingredients like I know some people are allergic to coconut oil so I have made custom batches um for folks who don't want coconut oil in theirs so yeah that's that my hair I'm about to take it down remember all that I put in here and this was on Monday y'all all that I put in here was um some water and some of my hair growth oil so no I normally like to put in a cream that um that adds some some curl, some extra curl to my hair, you know, definition. But I didn't do that this time because remember I said I had already had some product build up. I normally wash my hair every week when I'm wearing my natural hair, but this time I tried to, I decided to push it to 2 weeks because I'm lazy and also because like sometimes I don't feel like washing my hair every week is the best thing especially when it already feels like like I use a clarifying shampoo, you know? So this time I will, probably this weekend I will wash it. And whenever I'm not using a clarifying shampoo, I just wash my hair with um, black, uh, African black soap, the bar. Like I just use that when I'm, I'm, you know, just washing my hair, that's my shampoo. And my hair loves it. Um, but as you can see, I still have quite a bit of definition here and quite a bit of shine. I mean, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's Thursday now. Um, I have no method when it comes to taking out my twist, as you can see. Like, I'm not, some people are like, oh, I don't want any frizziness. I want my definition. So they'll, they'll untwist it really carefully, like rough, you know, which is cool if definition is important to you. And some days I do, I want that serious definition. Like, I get it. But 
lately for me it's been all about volume and I will I don't mind frizzy hair because <clears throat> my hair is naturally like you know somewhat frizzy um I don't even know what the word frizzy means for real for real I know what it means but like look at my hair like my hair I, I like I like a little I like it to be big and it can be big and messy I have no problem with that my mom can't stand it because she said like back in the day whenever people wore their afros and stuff it was like a perfect like they had to pick it out and make it look perfect like a perfect globe on their head but um nah that's not important to me so i'm gonna finish doing this because it might take a minute and then i will be right back <laughs> hey so i'm back all i did was um take out the twist i did not manipulate them much at all because you know, sometimes I like to pick, 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 pick and get a nice big fro. So I just let my hair lay how I want to because I don't want to manipulate it too much, especially I'm not even going anywhere. Um, I put on this little dress that I got a long time ago from Ross and some earrings. I try to look somewhat presentable. But <laughs> so this is the final look. Um, I'll do a full 360. Hope it look good, looks good in the back because like I said, I didn't really do much. Shh, Dallas, please. <gasps> They would do this when I'm on a video, I swear. Quiet. Anyways, um, yeah, that's it. If you're interested in my hair growth oil, comment down below or message me on any of my socials if you know where to find me. Um, I I swear by this, and I'm really I'm not just saying that, like y'all know, like I'm not trying to get your money, but you I'm almost a hundred percent sure you'll be satisfied with this product. Just use it the way that I describe in the instructions and you will definitely see results by the end of the bottle. Um, so yeah, that's it. I have my Zoom meeting in a few minutes, so I have to go ahead and go. I'll probably upload this video tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any suggestions for videos, please let me know. I know we're all quarantined and there's a lot that I <laughs> have been trying to do, i.e. like, you know, create this hair growth oil for, um, for you guys um but yeah I'm open to ideas and I have a feeling we're going to be in the house for a little while longer so just let me know what you want to see thank you so so much for watching I really appreciate it if you haven't already please subscribe I haven't gotten a real um schedule down to when I upload but hopefully I will soon um but be sure to subscribe like comment all of that great stuff and let me know what you think of my natural hair like honestly this stuff is looking really good and really healthy like i think the healthiest that i've ever had it in a, in a really long time so i'm excited and i'm excited for you guys to try all my oil thank you again for watching you see shane in the corner of one eye that's so creepy anyways shane do you want to say hi no she don't want to talk to y'all sorry anyways <laughs> talk to you guys later bye <laughs>